You're looking at scenes inside the Jays clubhouse where not a drop of bubbly is wasted this afternoon. They are partying. The Jays knew last night that they'd be going to the playoffs officially, but today found out who they'd be facing. That is the Minnesota Twins, and this is really their first chance to celebrate clinching the playoffs. So they're doing it after a loss today to Tampa Bay. Let's bring in our Jays reporter, Scott Mitchell. So Saturday we learned that Toronto made the playoffs. Sunday we found out just who they are facing. And Scott, it's Minnesota, not Tampa Bay after the loss on Sunday. If they had to choose, would Toronto have preferred the Twins over facing the Rays? Well, look, that depends on who you ask. And, you know, talking to people leading up to the, this weekend and this game and obviously after last night, you kind of got multiple answers from different people. And based on if you talk to the pitchers, you talk to the hitters, but really a lot of variables at play and a stressful week for this ball club. to So to lock it up last night, not have to play for anything today, obviously Houston and Texas really decided what was going to happen without this result. So now you get Minnesota and you have to feel like pretty good about that based on the standings. But really when you look at this, club and how they've played over the last month this has been quietly one of the better teams in baseball so you have to look at their numbers they've been offensively very very good strong pitching staff so John Schneider noted today all the left-handed hitters and they split the season series three apiece so very competitive series I think the one wrinkle that you have to look at now is they go through potentially Houston instead of Baltimore and Baltimore and Tampa Bay the two teams that won the most games in the American League they're on the other side of the bracket. So if you want to look at this as a good thing, it probably worked out well in a lot of people's favor the way they wanted it. Yeah, it definitely changes the path to the World Series should they get there. Now, let's get to the Jays' rotation for this wild card series. It's a best of three. Scott, how do you think John Schneider is going to set up the pitching staff for the series? Yeah, there's no doubt Kevin Gosman's going to go in game one, and obviously you feel good about that. He's your ace. He's a guy who is in Cy Young contention into September, and you have to look at a few wrinkles, though. 5-7-0 ERA at target field in his career. He's been much better uh, at home than on the road, so you look at the same thing with Chris Bassett, who could potentially be lined up for the second game, but a 4-50 ERA on the road this year compared to a 2-8-6 at home. Left-handed hitters have really uh, hit him hard at times. He's been one of their better pitchers down the stretch but it is a really interesting choice with Jose Barrio sitting there as well and then on the other side the twins are going to counter with very two very strong options in Pablo Lopez and Sonny Gray and they haven't really said what the order is going to be but really you have to look at it as a wash and that second game whether you go with Bassett or Barrios that's going to be the key decision for Schneider and his group a lot to think about and not a ton of time the wildcard series begins Tuesday in Minnesota thanks for this Scott